Hey guys, April 27, 2022. We have a Johnny come lately here, making a lot of noise, a lot of volume, over 60 million volumes. Uh, shares of volume have been traded back and forth, and we're not even at the midday point. But let's take a look at the stock. So Johnny come lately, as you can see, is sleeping giant, hasn't been doing anything for the past couple of days. All of a sudden it woke up. Big hedge funds make their money. Bah, 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 bah. By the time you come in, um, I guess there's some breadcrumbs at the table. Let's just zoom in real quick here. So as far as a trend line, oops, wrong tool. Sorry, change the tool to my trend line. So as far as a trend line, uh, we're reaching because I don't see anything that kind of is like concrete to me. But um, it's kind of... Yeah, I don't know what to make of this stock, to be honest with you. Let's see what news is driving this stock. Maybe we can get something from there. So, stock is called Vivacor. Vivacor secures a 10-year asphalt, asphalt sale contract. Uh, shares doubled after 10-year contract. Awarded contract for sale of asphalt from its Utah facility. Asphalt from its Utah facility, potential value up to $250 million. So this company, uh, yeah, has some good news going. Don't know if it's a, enough to warrant a two, three-day run, but it definitely would, you know, cause for a jump up for one day. So, um, and it's a $3 stock. Eh, I guess it's not really a penny stock. I don't know what you consider a penny stock nowadays, but um, yeah, I wouldn't touch it. It's below the VWAP and yeah this is not a stock I, I have much input on it's one of those you know do as you wish good luck type of stocks but i do have one more stock i want to look at well maybe another one if i can squeeze one in uh afib another johnny come lately seems like does it is it it's johnny come lately um yeah whoo yeah this stock has been on a decline for quite a while and all of a sudden it decided to <clears throat> wake up and join the party so we're going to see what news is driving this and if this is a move that we can count on to be consistent for the next couple days afib let's take a look afib it says btig upgrades a cut to us medical to buy announces two dollar price target uh, what else? What else? Uh, medical announced commitment letter from Deerfield Management to refinance its existing debt um, to make an upfront cash payment to a cut to us of $15 million. sale. Um, Medtronic will make $50 million upfront cash payment upon initial closing. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's some good news. They, they've been upgraded to a, a different price target. They have a $50 million, excuse me, um, upfront cash payment on the table for an initial clo closing. So, eh, I don't know if that's anything that can make us think long term. But let's take a look at the short term for those short term traders. It's trading below the VWAP. Is it going to get above it? Doubt it. If you look at this bottom bracket, which is the volume of the bracket, volume is near to non-existent, especially at this 11 o'clock hour. Um, Eastern Eastern Standard Time um, but I do see a trend a downward trend for those who are interested uh, come on downward trend it was somewhat of an upward trend but that quickly got broken um, so maybe if it goes above this um, cone I would no nah, I would not I definitely wouldn't go along I would look for a short I don't think you can even short this um, small of a price. But, yeah, another stock I wouldn't touch. Um, it's not making any noise. Um, hedge funds made a lot of money in the morning. And then by the time me and you got to it at 9.30, guess what? It was like the down, the end part of a roller coaster. We went down and the, the ride stopped and we had to get off. So, one more stock I want to look at. If I have just enough time, COSM, this is going to be quick. Cosmo Holding. Uh, a lot of volatility pre-market, but then by the time me and you got to it, guess what? Another downward city spiral. Um, no real trends, I can say, being made. There was one forming, but then it broke. And now it kind of seems like it's consolidating. Sideward spin, come on. Don't have much time. 
So you're playing right now in the range of a dollar ninety cents to a dollar oh two dollars oh five cents, and yeah, either one of these breaks, you're looking at um, momentum continuing to that direction. Uh, take a look at what is driving this stock. Any major news? And it says watch top gainers. Cosmo shares up pre market. No news to. No news to account for the move. Whoa. So this thing is just moving at free will. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I would stay away from the stock. No news driving it. And it's just some market maker decided to gra grab everyone's attention. <laughs> yeah, people are going to lose money on this one. 930 drop. Makes sense. Yeah, guys. So um, as far as the stocks we just covered today, I'm not confident in any one of these. But somehow they're in the top. Highly traded stocks for today, so we got to cover it. So um, thanks for checking me out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.